2 Samuel chapter 8 David's Victories After this, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And David took Metheg Amath out of the hand of the Philistines. Megeth Amma out of the hand of the Philistines. And he defeated Moab and he measured them with a line, making them lie down on the ground. Two lines he measured to be put to death and one full line to be spared. And the Moabites became servants to David and brought tribute. David also defeated Hadadezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah, as he went to restore his power at the river Euphrates. And David took from him 1,700 horsemen and 20,000 foot soldiers. And David hamstrung all the chariot horses, but left enough for 100 chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, David struck down 22,000 men of the Syrians. Then David put garrisons in Aram of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants to David and brought tribute. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were carried by the servants of Hadadezer and brought them to Jerusalem. And from Betta and from Berothai, cities of Hadadezer, King David took very much bronze. When Toai, king of Hamath, heard that David had defeated the whole army of Hadadezer, Toai sent his son Joram to King David to ask about his health and to bless him because he had fought against Hadadezer and defeated him, for Hadadezer had often been at war with Toai. And Joram brought with him articles of silver, of gold, and of bronze. These also King David dedicated to the Lord, together with the silver and gold that he dedicated from all the nations he subdued from Edom, Moab, the Ammonites, the Philistines, Amalek, and from the spoil of Hadadezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah. And David made a name for himself when he returned from striking down 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Then he put garrisons in Edom. Throughout all Edom he put garrisons, and all the Edomites became David's servants. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. David's officials. So David reigned over all Israel. And David administered justice and equity to all his people. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the army. And Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, was recorder and Zadok, the son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were priests, and Sariah was secretary, and Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and David's sons were priests. Chapter 9. David's Kindness to Mephibosheth. 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 And David said, Is there still anyone left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now there was a servant of the house of Saul, whose name was Ziba, and they called him to David. And the king said to him, Are you Ziba? And he said, I am your servant. And the king said, Is there not still someone of the house of Saul, that I may show the kindness of God to him? Ziba said to the king, there is still a son of Jonathan. He is crippled in his feet. The king said to him, Where is he? And Ziba said to the king, He is in the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, at Lodabar. Then King David sent and brought him from the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, at Lodabar. And Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, son of Saul, came to David and fell on his face and paid homage. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold, I am your servant. And David said to him, Do not fear, for I will show you kindness for the sake of your father Jonathan, and I will restore to you all the land of Saul your father, and you shall eat at my table always. And he paid homage and said, What is your servant that you should show regard for a dead dog such as I? 
Then the king called Ziba, Saul's servant, and said to him, All that belong to Saul and to all his house I have given to your master's grandson. And you and your sons and your servants shall till the end shall till the land for him and shall bring in the produce that your master's grandson may have bread to eat. But Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth, your master's grandson, shall always eat at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Ziba said to the king, According to all that my lord the king commands his servant, so will your servant do. So Mephibosheth ate at David's table like one of the king's sons. And Mephibosheth had a young son whose name was Micah. And all who lived in Ziba's house became Mephibosheth's servants. So Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem, for he ate always at the king's table. Now he was lame in both his feet. First Chronicles chapter 18. David defeats his enemies. After this, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them, and he took Gath and its villages out of the hand of the Philistines. And he defeated Moab, and the Moabites became servants to David and brought tribute. David also defeated Hadadezer, king of Zobah Hamath, as he went to set up his monument at the river Euphrates. And David took from him 1,000 chariots, 7,000 horsemen, and 20,000 foot soldiers. And David hamstrung all the chariot horses, but left enough for 100 chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, David struck down 22,000 men of the Syrians. Then David put garrisons in Syria of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants to David and brought tribute. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were carried by the servants of Hadadezer and brought them to Jerusalem. And from Tibath and from Kun, cities of Hadadezer, David took a large amount of bronze. With it, Solomon made the bronze sea and the pillars and the vessels of bronze. When Tohu, king of Hamath, heard that David had defeated the whole army of Hadadezer, king of Zobah, he sent his son Hadaram to king David to ask about his health and to bless him because he had fought against Hadadezer and defeated him. For Hadadezer had often been at war with Tohu, and he sent all sorts of articles of gold, of silver, and of bronze. These also King David dedicated to the Lord, together with the silver and gold that he had carried off from all the nations, from Edom, Moab, the Ammonites, the Philistines, and Amalek. And Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, killed 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Then he put garrisons in Edom, and all the Edomites became David's servants. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. David's Administration So David reigned over all Israel, and he administered justice and equity to all his people. And Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the army. And Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, was recorder. And Zadok, the son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were priests. And Shabsha was secretary. And Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites. And David's sons were the chief officials in the service of the king.